Okay, well, we're here in uh, Big Valley in Lake County, and we're with uh, Ron Bartolucci, who is the owner of uh, Bartolucci Vineyards. And at the moment, we are actually at their uh, home ranch area, and we're in the middle of some of Ron's Sauvignon Blanc uh, vines, and he's going to tell us a bit about Sauvignon Blanc here in Lake County and, and here at his ranch. Well, we've been growing Sauvignon Blanc here in Lake County since 1981. And over the course of this last 30 years or so of growing Sauvignon Blanc, I've heard a lot of comments about Lake County Sauvignon Blanc. I think the one I liked the most was uh, presented to me by a winemaker that said, you know, the, the Sauvignon Blanc in Lake County is so good, even if the grower screws it up, it's still good. <laughs> We've tried to grow Sauvignon Blanc in all different ways. We have bilateral cordoned it, spur pruned it, quadrilateral cordoned it, spur pruned it. We've also um, cane pruned it and stacked the canes. And um, we experimented with this over the years. And what we found to be the best system for ourselves and our operation is what we would call a quad cane system. But we adapted this system so that we could also harvest by machine. So we basically have a 12 inch cross arm here. We have, if the plant has enough vigor, which these do, we would put four canes, stack the canes on each side, and that way we open the fruit up. It's not stacked on one another. The crown of the vine, we take all the fruit out of the crown of the vine. Then we're able to allow these shoots to go up and not be stacked on one another. It opens it up. We pull the leaves on the this, this side and on the inside here so that we open that up so we get more floral characteristics. And the characteristics here, this is in the Big Valley region, and the soils here are basically very, very rich soils because at one time, this whole region was part of Clear Lake as we know it today. The soils are very rich. There's lots of loam and clay and a lot of depth. The fruit characteristics we can produce very, very nice Sauvignon Blanc that has wonderful varietal characteristics, but at the same time have very nice acid. And that's one of the things that makes our Sauvignon Blanc so beautiful. Now, Ron, here in Big Valley then with the Sauvignon Blanc, um, obviously Lake County in general, we're at some high elevation farming, so good UV exposure. Um, how does that affect your farming of the Sauvignon Blanc and how does that affect the flavor and the outcome of the grape? You mentioned the, the, the balanced acidity with the flavor profile. Uh, you're asking the difference between uh, high elevation and here? Well, and just, you know, as far as w what that does to Sauvignon Blanc, how does the, so we've talked about the soil and how that contributes and some of the farming practice that you have here. How, how is your feeling about the, the high elevation and UV exposure aspect and canopy management? Well, we're right here at about uh, 1,360 foot of elevation. Um, the elevation itself what we get is we get very, very cool nights here. And that really helps the acidity situation. And that helps in the balance of the pH, TA, and BRICS levels. And it also, also induces certain flavor characteristics. Those flavor characteristics we can manipulate to a point by canopy management. And that's what we do here. Um, because we're looking for more of the floral characteristics and the fruit of the vine. And so we open it up a little bit so that the sunlight does not directly hit the particular, the particular clusters, but it's indirectly hitting those clusters. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Ron. I really appreciate it.